My name is Lucy and I have two kids who attend Four Directions, which is a program of family partnership. Um, my daughter Hannah is five and my son John is four and they've been at the program for two years um, this coming May. It's really important to us to have a holistic integrated approach to helping kids and families interrupt two generational poverty. And so we do that through counseling, education programs, and advocacy, because so many things that get in the way of kids getting ready for kindergarten or parents being able to keep a job or stay in housing, um, the, the, the problems are complex. Their mental health issues, their developmental and social issues. And so by having our early childhood education and care and our parent development and education and mental health services, we can take a comprehensive, holistic approach to helping people solve their problems. Both of them are really great, bright kids. Um, my little guy, um, he was a preemie. So he had a little bit of delay stuff and right away um, entering the program, they were both screened and they have really great program of speech therapy, occupational therapy and uh, behavioral health. And um, my little guy, he gets uh, occupational therapy and really nice staff who really open and you know catch me in the hall and tell me about all the great things he does. And, and you know, I've gone to observe some of his therapy sessions and it's really eye-opening to have that opportunity to see where he's at and how much he's grown. If we see an issue with a child, I immediately talk to Diane or to Marilyn and say, this is what's going on. What do we need to do to remediate this, to help this child? So it's amazing to me. I've never been in any situation where it's addressed as quickly as it is here, where you can say, oh, this child's gonna get referral to play therapy, to speech therapy, to OT. So I'm seeing that and then what happens is they come and report back to me too. Oh, this child is making this kind of progress or this child is expressing this challenge. So there's a beautiful um, an interaction between the needs of the child and the people that are serving the child. I'm, I'm really thrilled with that. One thing, I it's really interesting because I think the teachers kind of forget it too, is when they work alongside the therapist. So that could be the the play therapist, the mental health therapist, the occupational therapist, or even the speech therapist, that they are just get, gaining that knowledge too and it just becomes a part of how they teach also. We have several multicultural therapeutic preschools that do early education and, and care and family development. Uh, we think it's important for kids and families to ha get a sense of their cultural background and be able to develop a sense of pride in who they are and where they came from. The icing on the cake for the program is their Ojibwe immersion that they get to attend and they get to attend during this, the regular school year and they enter into an immersion space where the, all the teachers speak just Ojibwe with them and my kids have really blossomed. Um, in fact, um, I think I hadn't told you that, I hadn't mentioned this before, but um, my little girl, she now attends uh, an adult language table where she's the instructor. Um, I'm here at Family Partnership and I love being here because I see the kids grow and thrive with support and love and the re reigniting of their understanding and their, their internal grasp of that they're native kids and they come up with this hearing the language, living in the language, knowing that the language is embedded in the culture and the culture is embedded in the language. They get the opportunity to, to regain some of that that's inside of them. I just feel really um, honored to, to, for them to be able to be with Hope and to be their mother and knowing that they're learning the language of Minnesota, the indigenous language of Minnesota and and that they'll be little spokespeople, <laughs> you know, as they move through life for, for, for everybody not to forget that, you know, there is a language that is indigenous to Minnesota. Um, the kids in the classroom know that uh, we have songs that were helpful for healing. We have ceremonies, we can smudge, we can do things to help heal each other and to help hold each other dear. So there's ways in the culture that support each other, not just our, our physical beings, but our hearts and our spirits. As we come to this classroom, we build a family. It's like a little family here, and the kids know that. 
they know that. 